Jefferson against Lake Gray is starting now. And uh, okay, so the form was d4, and uh, we are going maybe in a pawn structure. Uh, so it's a bit like uh, a mix between a Catalan and where uh, where Le Quanglier entered by making um, a fianchetto by himself. So this is the two two fianchettos for white and black. The position was symmetrical for the first moves, but now player took different pass and Magnus could bring his knight to uh, d5 right now to e5 right now and uh, Le Quanglier is uh, is asking for an exchange okay so knight f3 knight f6 back so if you play knight, knight e5 knight f3 you have a draw but this is Magnus Carlsen with white against the world chess champion actual world chess champion of blitz against the world chess champion of classical chess and rapid Carlsen world champion of classic and rapid against Le world champion of blitz so uh, we can see there is a real difference because the bishop on c8 so let's look at the board on, on the left is blocked uh, is uh, is blocked by the pawn on e6 so it can't really get out so this is the slight advantage that white can br bring the bishop to f4 so it's a slight advantage for white here but uh, you still need to make it pay but i think the, the position fits Carlson much 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 better so I'm saying advantage to Carlson here I'm saying advantage to Carlson so the idea might be to bring this knight c3 to, to c5 you can want to push the pawns on the queen side you really need to make to 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 build pressure on the queen side here for Magnus the black pieces are a bit glimpsy for black and you need to find a way to bring your pieces on those squares. So I'm thinking about c5 square maybe for the knight, maybe bring the rook, play a e3 and bring the bishop also. So yeah, so rook d1, maybe e3 and bring the bishop. Bishop g5. So he is now pinning the knight. The knight is pinned and you cannot play h6 because bishop takes h6. So the knight now is pinned. And he decided to play queen f8 to get away of this pin. And it's still pinned. The, the, the rook is uh, is on d8, I believe. Cannot see it right on the board, but I believe it's on d8. And uh, with queen f8, now he, he might want to play the pawn to h6 and ask the question to the bishop. Magnus needs to find a good move here to continue to build the pressure h4 h4 interesting taking space on the king side preparing maybe h5 and uh, after h6 he take of, of course he prepared this he plays h f4 so he's playing a bit like in a stone wall system with all his pawns on the dark squares now but he already gave up the dark square bishop so he wants to say my knight is better my my c3 knight is better than your d7 bishop and i and, and i get rid in this stone wall spawn structure of my bad bishop so he wants to say i'm a bit better because of that it's all about pattern recognition and uh colson is really doing a good job here he's a he's a better player in this position he has uh, virtually no risk he doesn't want to lose games against his direct rival because he believes i guess that uh in the long term he will uh, win more games so he really wants to play the two result game and this is what he gets also he gets position with few tactics because uh lay is really shining when uh, when we talk about tactics about tricks he's such an amazing person such an amazing player in, uh, in 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 the blitz game that somehow somehow lay is uh, is having a correct position it changing the queens going into the end game he made some double pawns he made himself some double pawns but it still seems okay 
for black is it hard to say it's hard to say is it still okay slightly better pieces for white and slightly better pawn structure but the position is so closed up it won't be easy for magnus to break through the black defense okay he has a chance to play e4 because as you see lady did not have time to play e5 himself or f5 f6 or f5 so magnus had time to push e4 now so he opens the position even if uh, he doesn't have the 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 bishop pair but it's, it's it's more because of dynamical reason it's pretty hard for lay to 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 take uh, to, to 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 solve this problem without any loss and you are calculating one minute ten left for magnus one and uh, 51 seconds left for lay so he's giving up a pawn now i think you can play bishop takes c6 and rook takes c6 but uh but the, 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 the end game is probably or maybe no the rook is on c1 Ships on c6. Oh, after bishop takes c6, he would have played. Uh, he would have played rook c8. He would have played rook c8 after bishop c6, piling the rook, and he would not win the pawn. So Magnus is, is is slightly better still, and he's a better player in the end game. He has the best, uh, the better bishop, and uh, his pawn structure is a bit better here on the queen side, but. Uh, it's always close to be a draw. This position always close to be a draw, though. Slight advantage. So Lay thinks it will be easier for him without the rook on the board. Magnus Carlsen say no. Thank you. So now if you play Queen King D4, if you move the king to D4, it's probably rook D5, check. And after king c3, I don't know, maybe he's continue checking on d5 and going back on c5. So now the pawn is on b5, Magnus is, is offering lay to exchange the rooks. He's wondering, should I do it? Yes, he does. Bring in the king. Will you be able to close the door? So b6 was forced. Uh, how Magnus will get into it? It seems really hard to break the, the defense here, but Magnus will try. Magnus will try. Okay, I think he plays some king c7 or something. So what can be the idea? Bring the king to d4 and then play c4. Okay, he's just moving pieces now. He's one of the best in the world. He, he is the best in the world uh, to do that. He's just not moving and then suddenly he starts his real idea. He's just taking his time to show his opponent what he's really aiming to. And uh, he's trying to make some troubles on the king's side. Exchange pawn now h5. So he waited for the king to be on c7, slightly misplaced. Pushing now. Pushing now even more f5. So how do you react? Maybe you can take this pawn now. He doesn't take the risk. He doesn't take the risk. Pawn to f6. So now. Uh, I still don't really see how can he break throw because uh, yeah, exchange the bishop won't help the only way is to bring the king to g7 but will he have time because the black king is also coming to d5 to attack the e5 pawn so he's covering the d5 square with his bishop and now the king is going the, the king side what a gifted player Magnus Carlsen but uh, lay He's closing the door with his own king, bringing back his king to f8 in order to avoid to 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 forbid to Magnus Carlsen the g7 square. Magnus is thinking he's trying to to get these pieces in the better position. It's very hard to say. 
if Magnus can win it, but he's not taking any risk, he's just turning around. And he's thinking, how can I get get through this? He loves to get bishop on b3, of course. Maybe he can play some... He never have some bishop takes c6, so it's never working. He thought about playing a4. Scanning through. What what does he want? King on h7. What does he want? Uh, oh, he cannot play queen bishop b5. It was a check. Bishop b4 check. So the king is on h8 now. What can you do? This bishop has three squares to go. The the, the bishop on uh, the the dark the, the bishop on c6 on d7 now has three squares to go. So I don't see how Magnus bishop d7 now is coming from b3. And he's getting getting the king away now. Maybe Lay did a mistake when he decided to switch diagonal for his bishop. Because now if king h7, he would play bishop e8 and and and, and uh Okay now he has king g6 but on the previous position he would not be able to play queen king g6. Now we are turning around. So Magnus just for forbid King Lay to play King H7 and this Magnus he knows to do it that well. His king is going the other way. Calculating bishop p8. So king goes probably to king probably goes to g6. 20 seconds on the clock. King f5, king d4, king e4 this time. So bishop d3 probably now. King is going this way, what is he doing? Oh, he wants to play a4 now. Ooh, he's turning this around. Oh, and he has to resign. But this is really, this is really a masterpiece. This is just amazing how Magnus Carlsen won this game. He turned around the whole way, all way with his pieces, with his bishop in this one, and finally laid it made the, the little blender.